There are a few different ways to install WordPress onto your server. While I will always prefer the easiest way for most anything, I would also like to know how things work just in case something requires fixing. I can then fix it myself or have someone else fix it, but at least at that point I'll know what they should be doing to fix the problems and this minimizes me getting ripped off by somebody overcharging me for work that was not needed in the first place. Now if you head on over to WordPress.org, that's where we are right now, and download the latest version of WordPress in order to install it yourself, they have what's called the famous 5 minute install. Let me show you where that's at. Just click on right here, and at the time of this recording, version 3.5.1 is the newest version, and that's going to be changing here in a few weeks, but the installation process will still be the same for the most part. The handy guide right here, this link will take you to this page for installing WordPress. And there's a whole lot of cool details on here you might want to check out when you get a chance to that I'm not going to be covering in this video. But right here is the famous 5-minute installation guide I was referring to. Now this covers some things that frankly I'm going to go against the grain on in this video because the way I'm going to be showing you will install it a little bit more securely. But their way will work but then you have to go back in later on and do some tweaking to get it to where I'm going to be showing you. So avoid a couple of steps, save some time, and do it this way. Now at this point, I'm also going to mention that uploading the files, there's a little over a thousand files in this zip file here for the new installation of WordPress, and that will take, on my internet speed, it'll take a little over eight minutes, about nine minutes to do, so I'm not going to include the uploading of the files in the five minute time limit that I'm putting on myself here because that basically depends only on your internet access. If you've got DSL or if you've got dial-up or if you've got like my neighbors in Kansas City have Google Fiber then your upload speeds will vary accordingly. So again I'm not going to include that in my five minute time limit. The one thing I do want to mention though as far as uploading I'm using FileZilla and I've logged into my FTP using a secure connection, that's SFTP. And that's just an added layer of security. It's by all means not necessary or mandatory, but it's just an added layer of security to be able to log in using SFTP versus the normal FTP. What we were going to do is whenever you download that file from WordPress.org, it's going to come in the form of a zip file. When you unzip it, inside of it is going to be a folder called WordPress. You want to uploading the contents of that folder, not the folder itself, to your server where you want those files to be located at. For example, if you want your WordPress site to be brought up on the browser whenever you type in just your domain, then you want to put it in the root directory, in this case public underscore HTML. If you want it to be like you put in your domain name forward slash blog, then you want to create a directory called blog and then upload all these files into that directory. Pretty simple stuff. The only thing that I'm not going to be showing you here is the time involved in uploading all these files. Because you see here it's a little over, little over a thousand files. So anyway, uploading it, not that difficult to do. Let's get FileZilla out of the way here. Okay, so now I want to go over to our cPanel control panel to create our database. But first I want to pull in our little timer here so we know that we're going to accomplish this in under five minutes. Go ahead and start that up. Come on down here to our databases panel and you can either use the MySQL database wizard, which we're not, or just go into the MySQL databases, which we are. And we want to put in here the name of our database. And you can have whatever you want in there for the most part. It'll tell you if you mess something up, but I also create my usernames using the same name as my database. It's not mandatory, it's just what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the database name here and I'm also going to paste it here because I'm going to use the same ending of my name because all this is the actual name, all this is the actual username. I'm going to use that same ending for our username. So let's come on back here, come on down here, paste that Or not paste it, but put that in there like so. Use the password generator. And usually I'll use that one. You can also click here to regenerate a new one. But you need to check that box there saying that you've copied that into your clipboard. Use that password. Create that user. Get that out of the way. Click that again. And there we go. Now I want to 
copy this, but I don't want the period at the end there. That always throws me. Copy that for my password. Paste that there and go back. Now that we've got the username and the database name created, we now need to associate the two together. Make sure that they are both showing here, both the user and the database. Click on Add. Click on All Privileges. Make Changes. And we're set. Our database is ready to roll. Now then, at this point, we're done with this guy here. But I wanted to show you, if we come on back here, and if we go into File Manager, which I believe I already have opened up here, if we come on down here to the config sample, it's at this point that I tend to differ with what's explained in the WordPress installation guide because here they want you to change the name of this to just config. They want you to delete the dash and the sample and inside of here they want you to, let me open that up in an editor, they want you to actually go through and create these keys here but there's an easier way to do that where you don't actually have to create those keys, they're done for you. Let's go ahead and close this out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're just going to leave that alone. And we come on into our index here. And let's just refresh that. And right here, it's going to create the configuration file for us. It's going to create that config file for us with all those security keys intact. We don't have to mess with that. I mean, you could always go back in and change those if you want. But why do it? Let's save time. Create config file. Now that we want to make sure we got all this stuff, which we do right here. Go ahead and let's go. Let's go ahead and copy this here. That's the DB name and the username. Copy, paste, paste. And you see how I'm pasting both the beginning and no period? Okay, just want to make sure you were aware of that. And the password, make sure we get all of that, but not the period that was at the end there in cPanel. And paste. And unless your host is something other than localhost, leave it alone. Now here is another security measure that they don't really tell you a whole lot about. I'm going to change the database or the table prefix to something else. Because hackers know that it's most always going to be WP underscore. Let's change it here to DTWTO. Yeah, that'll work. Underscore. Click on Submit. Run the install. And we're almost home free. Site title. And admin, we want to change that to something else. Password. Let's go ahead and th throw something in here. There. How about that? Copy. And it tells you, actually, let's just leave that blank. Let me just show you because it will make it for us. Your email, you got to put that in there and then install WordPress. See it made the password for us, nice and secure. Copy that down. Log in. I'm running closer on our paste and there. So technically we were right at five minutes. Had I not been yamming around, it would have been much less than that. That's how you can create your WordPress site manually and do so, in this example, right at five minutes. But in most cases, if you're not having a talk, you can do so in less than five minutes. Let me go ahead and show you what the site looks like real quick. And click on that. And here we are, my blog. And you can always change this stuff inside of the back end here. But our site's created. That's it. That's how you can manually create your WordPress site in under five minutes or as in this example, right at five minutes. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.